Chesterfield Township Police say the pair took jet skis out from Brandenburg Park on Jefferson Avenue. That happened yesterday evening. The first man was rescued last night. The body of the second man was found this afternoon. Fox 2's Camilla Mary with more on how the young victim is being remembered. Family and friends mourning the tragic and sudden loss of 21 year old Jonathan Kloss. Thursday night, Kloss was jet skiing with a friend in Lake St. Clair's Anchor Bay when their jet skis capsized. Divers were able to rescue his friend, but sadly, Kloss drowned. His body recovered Friday afternoon. People are sharing pictures, people are sharing life quotes, a lot of, you know, I love yous, a lot of group hugs, and, you know, we appreciate each other, and, you know, it's just, it, it, it's what death does to you as a human. It makes you realize that our days are fragile. Kloss, a sports fanatic, worked at Woodward Sports. John was a guy that just kind of walked in the door and asked for an internship out of nowhere. He really had a passion for sports and wanted to be a part of it in any way possible. Well liked and friendly, Kloss always had a smile on his face. Very hard worker, do whatever it takes. You know, sometimes we had to be the places early to set up for broadcasts, and he would he would lend a helping hand and just anything you asked him to do, he would do. Kloss's friend, 19-year-old Hunter Lentine, is recovering in an area hospital. Authorities say he was rescued about 300 feet offshore. They estimate he had been in the water for about three hours. Investigators are working to determine what prompted the jet skis to flip over. In Chesterfield Township, Camille Mary, Fox 2 News.